Bruce, how are you doing? Hello guys. Right, just uh <coughs> sorting out. So a bit of a crosswind going on here, ever so slightly though. Josh H, Benny, how are you doing mods? Hope you're doing absolutely brilliantly. Hope everyone is okay. Welcome along to London City, guys. Fighting the rain here the uh, this afternoon. Beautiful, so lovely aircraft to uh, to start the show. Right, let's have a look then. Becky Davis, Samantha Vigo, uh, James One. Hello to you. Uh, me myself run my nine operations as well today. Looking gorgeous, guys. Uh, Tina York, Becky Davies. Mods, Clive Everly, how you doing, Clive? Hope you're doing absolutely brilliant. Uh, Emma, John Turner, saying hi everyone. First time on the chat, sometimes lurking, sometimes working. I have to say, this is by far the best aviation channel on YouTube. Well, honestly, John, I can't thank you enough for the kind words, so thank you very much. There you go, guys. You can see some of the uh, the wind as well. It's quite, uh, quite variable at the moment. Uh, Bruce, hello to you. Hope you're all doing very, very well. Uh, I have made the clock font a little bit bigger, but I still haven't been able to get it past the, the green bit on there. So at least you've got a clock on there now, guys. And I have been fighting with the uh, the rain this afternoon. So I've had the rain covers up and down. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's one of them ones. But the beautiful Lux Air anyway. Let's have a look. Clive Everly, Tina York. Uh, Bruce, me, myself. Oh, I can get that wonderful smell of uh, the tyres. Uh, Steve Rothwell, Watford FC, Nick Keogh, how are you doing? Hello to you all. I'll get round to uh, all of the comments in just a moment. We'll let the, uh, the Luxair park up and then we'll, uh, we'll get involved. Let me know, as always, guys, if the picture and the sound is okay. Once again, the final bits of the, uh, the test. I was hoping to get radar box added up once again today, guys, but uh, with the rain on and off, I can't be... Uh, I just can't do three things at once at this precise moment. Very busy here this afternoon. Uh, Benny, Tom the Pigeon, hello to you. Christopher Boys, hello to you. The Red Gooner, hope you're doing well. Uh, the Red Gooner is on and off with uh, the weather. But as I said, I'm gonna try and get the, uh, the radar box up and sorted with everything. But I've just gotta be very careful with uh, the weather. Bobby Ricketts, afternoon to you. Jeanette Cooper, hello to you from Queensland, Australia. Reaching far and wide. Hello to everyone on Facebook as well. Hope you're doing absolutely brilliantly. Kevin N, Tim Free Roach, uh, Mikas Mewis, Kevin 757, Fredgy TJ, Stephen Williams. How are you doing? Watching with my six year old granddaughter uh, Freya. She loves your shows. Well, hello to Freya. Hello to you both. O1 oh, Tasker, Trevor Val, Adam Gallagher, uh, Sharon Cuxon, James One, Mark Drew. Not a problem, Mark. Uh, David Pyatt, Adam Gallagher, Freddie O, Helen W. Uh, MKHA saying hello. Luke Moulds from New Zealand, 3.30 uh, in the morning. Uh, Louis de Haan, Paul Matten, uh, the Red Gooner, Scatman Noob, hello to you. Diane Emsley, Michael Singh, uh, the Ukraine again, hello moderators. What was your name, just out of curiosity? Um, I can't get the Google Translate on there, so the person uh, from the Ukraine again, if you could just pop your name in, that would be fantastic. Uh, Tom the Pigeon, Glenn Turner, Stephen Luscombe, uh, right, that might have clicked because it looks like it's gone over to 1080-60. Brilliant, guys. Uh, microwave soda, thank you very much. Jennifer Merrion. Where are we? Andrew Story. Uh, Sharon Cuxon. Games and Sports for Life, how are you doing? Uh, Samil, hello to you, mate. Uh, Fred Vanells, hello to you all. Welcome along to the East End of London, guys. So if we uh, have a pullback, let's have a look already on the ramp here. Quite busy. 
to the guys at BA City flying. Hello to the, uh, the lovely lot over there as well at uh, London City Airport. Hope you're having a fantastic, fantastic day. So it looks like some people got an ad, but it looks like it was just uh, changing up into 108060. No wonders why that's happened. Alexia, how are you doing? Ah, uh, that's a lot better. Right, so a slight little uh, look around. Beautiful KLM already on the ground. We are counting down for the Swiss. Kevin Joyce and adverts in German. Once again, that's uh, that's not us, guys. It looks like it's uh, YouTube's lagging itself. <laughs> Typical. Whenever you try to do a show, there's always uh, something that's going on. Good old YouTube, guys. I think uh, we're all used to it by now. Right, there we go. Uh, Games for Sports and Life, how are you doing? Dickie McVitty, no worries. Right, so I'm just going to put the... Uh, covers up guys because I can feel a little bit of rain had them up and down literally uh, all the time Linda Beatty how are you doing Benny saying afternoon anyone I missed Darren Pierce Hello to you, Chris Goodman, Hello, Love Friday, Sarah Beth, hello to you, and Dave Udon, hello to you all guys, welcome along, Creative M, Laura Coyle, how are you doing? Lovely stuff. So we'll watch some uh, ground ops at the moment, just while we're waiting for some more uh, action. Uh, Stephen Luscombe, as far as I'm aware, no, but there is... Uh, it's been windy this week, but this is not as uh, windy as it was the other day. Gillian Tibbers had a bit uh, chilly for a beer here, more like a hot chocolate, go for it. Chris Bloxham, hello to you. And Freddie O. Uh, yes, I did. As soon as I, uh, I've never packed up the equipment as fast as I did yesterday, I had to shove everything in the bag. As soon as I packed up, I could feel all of the the black clouds and it was just awful so I got out of there just in time yesterday yeah that was uh, not nice weather when you've got triple sevens and Gatwick departures uh, holding the departures uh, I think it's time to call it a quits and, uh, and head off out Jim, it looks like there might be a problem with uh, good old, uh, the good old tube. A couple of people had adverts, no idea. Jamie Campbell. Uh, yes, we are. We are on runway nine departures and arrivals today. Very, very nice. Can see an aircraft over there in the background. It's just been lost in the clouds. That's going to be uh, turning around and there is an aircraft as well to my right. Think Pink, Luke Moles, Chris S, Susanna Bentley. Yeah, it's not the best, Susanna, but we'll get through it. Diane, sometimes you've got to... Uh... You've got to do that. Once again, guys, there might be uh, up and down with the rain covers uh, every sort of few minutes, but uh, I'm sure you can understand. Richard Brown, how are you doing? Oh, got that. I was going to say, runway 27, the aircraft's coming in on uh, 09. Oh dear. Tony Cooksey, how are you doing? Uh, Alan James, I did put it on there. I put the PayPal me on the in the description. I have put it all up there. For any of you that ask for PayPal, I have, uh, I have put it there. I will have a look. It was all in the description. I promise you, I've got everything sorted. It was underneath the uh, the radar box uh, links. I'll have another look again because it looks like uh, it's not on there. Afternoon, Chris Neal. Alan, no, bear with me. I will look for it. I don't know why it's gone because I put all the links on there. So I'm back with a lifty. And gusts of up to 30 knots or 30 mile an hour here. 
Ronnie Cooper, 01 Tasker, hello to you. Still smooth as uh, silk though from the lifty. Bob Copsey, hello to you. Mark Philman, how you doing? Sorry, Mark Freeman, how are you doing? My apologies. You probably see the, uh, the murkiness over there in the background, guys. That looks like where the rain's coming from. Hopefully we might uh, get away with some of it today. Fingers crossed. Is there a duplicated on <laughs> Good old YouTube. Jack Glick, how are you doing? Gary Krauss, I'm from Stansted, hello to you. So, yeah, very grey, very murky here in the East End. But as long as... Uh, it's all good. Clive Everly, you are a legend, my friend. Thank you so, so much. Hope you're doing brilliant. So on stand six now, the next BA City Flyer aircraft are going to be uh, heading out. Uh, John Hume, it is just a little bit very, uh, very grey, very overcast. Uh, been raining all afternoon, very, as you can probably see by the windsock. Uh, a bit windy as well in uh, many directions. You could play the spotter. Thank you very much. And Bob Copsey saying the uh, rain's over the southeast coming up from France. That would make sense then. <coughs> Frenchy TJ saying looking at uh, New York City next year for a silver wedding. Enjoy it, mate. New York's a lovely place. It's a cracker. Timothy Roach, yes, I had a fantastic uh, Easter weekend, and I hope you lot uh, did too. Very relaxing, put it that way. Steve Kelly, uh, hey Chris, love a Friday from London City. You and me, my friend. Gary Crossan, how you doing? Heather, hello to you. All oh, right, I can just see the, uh, the rain. Starting to make an appearance. So I'll tell you what. Where is it? There it is. So as I said guys, I will be up and down with the rain covers uh, all afternoon. But I'm sure you can understand. Leslie Wyatt, hello to you. And Andrew Short. Uh, what was that, Andrew Short? Uh, Andrew, I'm not gonna say anything. We still got a, a long way to go. So uh, yeah, I'm taking each day as it comes, shall we say. Global Jets and the Dorniers coming in as well. Oh. Right, give me a second, guys. I'll have a bit of the rain covers up. Sunshine now over the uh, over the right hand side. Heather Reed, thank you very much. Tony Rivers, hello to you. Right. Right, 
so there we go Dornier inbound next the Dornier lovely little jet Beautiful down. Beautiful, but I'll get round to the comments in just a mo, guys. Trone Hunter, hello to you. So Yankee Lima this time. Ken G, Jamie Campbell, James Quidland, how are you doing? Beautiful. guys See the wind pushing the uh, the Embraer there. It's almost got that slight crab just before it makes its uh, left turn. And the handoff. Another left turn before we lose it by the Newham Dockside building. Is right there. So perfect. Anyone else that we've missed? Uh, Wayne, Edward, James, Cameron, uh, Mondo EU saying hi there. Hi there to you. Hope you're doing brilliantly. Hilver. Cheeky little Dornier as well is waiting for its uh, its space over there. We should get a lovely shot of that uh, taxiing in. Beautiful sounds. Ronnie Cooper, thank you so much for that, Ronnie. Honestly, I really, really appreciate it. Hope you're doing brilliantly. Okay, Joss, I love it when they're on zero nines here. It's beautiful. Bjorn Sorensen, hello from Berlin. It's like I spent a few days in London. I flew to London City. Fantastic approach. An impressive start. It's great, isn't it? <coughs> Michael K, thank you very much. Honestly, appreciate it, guys.
Leslie White, you are a legend. Thank you so much, Leslie. I really appreciate that. Hope you're keeping safe. Thank you. Right, a few of you wanted to see the Dornier as well. Uh, there we go, it's had a beautiful Dornier getting uh, marshalled in. Susanna, no worries. Beautiful little aircraft. Template 16. Uh, Mondo EU, you have the Dornier, you have uh, some ATR aircraft, some private aircraft. Uh, and the Dash 8, the Swiss A220. Uh, yeah, so you've got quite a bit of a, a variety there. Uh, Tony Matthew, that aircraft that just took off, that was part of BA City flying. It was an Embraer 190. As I said, guys, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit lost without my radar box here, but I just can't operate everything with all of the... Uh, all of the rain covers all on because everything has to be undercover it's so hard work lee class hello to you tracy byron the aircraft was a uh, e190 or an embraer 190 that just departed this is a dornier or dornier i think this is a 328 uh, mark harrison no unfortunately we uh, we only do uh thursdays at gatwick for the moment anyway max s very small amount maybe i don't know 30 odd 40 odd maybe it might be yeah literally updated uh, 146 beautiful stuff very peaceful here Shobin, how you doing? So there you go. Been a long time since I've seen the uh, Dornier offloaded. Even if it is being offloaded. Yeah, I mean, it's been great, hasn't it? Obviously, though, Leslie, thank you very much for that. Uh, for that. Stephen Luscombe, you are correct. Wow, it's only 15. Great looking aircraft though, isn't it? We get to see so many, uh, so many different aircraft. I want to ask a brilliant. Shobin brilliant stuff, Timothy Roach. Well, let's hope anyway. We've, uh, we've been through it the past, uh, what's it, five months? We could do with some uh, some nice weather, shall we say. So beautiful. We'll keep our eyes on some uh, ground ops. I'm going to have some of my coffee while it's still hot. Thank you so much for the viewing numbers, guys. Honestly, it's a privilege. 24 minutes in, over a thousand of you watching. Welcome along. Richard Brown, so he's just back. Oh, and a rain from Lossie. Siobhan, so it was. Yeah, I said that yesterday. Siobh that is the way it's pronounced, isn't it? I feel so bad sometimes. I did ask that yesterday. So someone corrected me. Please tell me I'm right. I feel terrible. That's my, uh, that's my Essex education for you. <laughs> uh, Stephen Remy, thank you so much, Stephen. Hope you're doing well. So we've kind of got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten aircraft on the ground. I'm not too sure if there's going to be uh, any bis jet departures today. But you know what it's like just as we're, uh, we're getting ready. And hopefully we'll be counting down to the Swiss. I do hope very, very uh, shortly. Siobhan. Yeah, it was. I thought it was. Siobhan. Well, listen. My apologies. <laughs> well, at least we're, uh, it's only taken a couple of months. Absolutely brilliant. I you hope you're doing brilliant. I know I have, so take my apologies. I've, uh, it's not the only name that I've butchered a few times. 
Uh, Ken Passy saying, love the stream. Can you zoom into the windows behind the door near the right tail? Is there... Uh, yeah. okay, let me have a look. You zoom into the windows behind the Dornier to the right of the towel. Is there a 1960s? So to the that's going to be that side over there. Um, as far as I can see, no, it doesn't look like it. There's an advertising billboard there. But I can't see anything as far as my zoom's taking me. I can't see anything uh, 1966 football wise on there. Oh, God, yeah. Paul Usher, hello to you. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Cameron Flying Banana, yes, they do. They have uh, special training to come into London City. And uh, as far as I'm aware, still now, it is a captain's only uh, approach here, but that may change. <laughs> John Allen saying, I look forward to Friday's at LCY. It's nice, guys. We're just getting settled in and we're just uh, chilling out. And we're just on the countdown. Oh, one tasker, thank you so much. Uh, Max, yeah, I, I think so. I'm as ready as I can probably ever be. Mm. And it is a 30, right, so 30 seats on this. And Timothy Roach, I tried to, I phoned the uh, the place where it's in today, it's at Gatwick. Um, couldn't get through to them, I've had no update. Honestly, I'm missing my, uh, I'm missing the old camera. Ah, oh, Chavs, right, so it has a, see, I can't make it out either. Uh, well, that's as far as my zoom. I can't make it out uh, for the life of me. If anyone can make that out, I'll tell you what, I wonder if, uh, I wonder if anyone from the uh, from London City is actually in the stream today. I wonder if they could uh, shield some information on that. That would be good. Regina Knight, how are you doing? Uh, Max, I don't know. Uh, that's the only thing I've just got to uh, I've got to wait funny you say that I got um I got an email that's just popped up today from last week for Sony to sponsor us um, it was like a, a marketing campaign that they'd done and it had come through a third a third party agency and from what they said is that they give me pair of Sony noise cancelling headphones and uh, they wanted me to just put Sony keep Sony written in the uh, in the box or in a box in the uh, in the stream I said to them until you uh, until you've sorted my camera out no but then uh, I turned them down politely because I don't want the, uh, the screen to be full of advertising stuff shall we say uh, uh, Audrey McDonald, this is Royal Albert Dock, so this is Royal Albert here and you can probably hear the train line which is the DLR right behind us, actually I might be able to get you uh, a shot of, of that, so people asking where this is, this is open to the public guys, that is the landmark you need to look for, Newham Dockside, there is the DLR train that is right over the, uh, the top of us and if you have a look, where is it, that right there is the stairs to come down to here so it's very very close so as soon as you get off the uh, the dlr you look for this massive building in front of you which is the newham dockside very recognizable and then you walk to this uh, little jetty shall we say uh, where i ha am here so uh yeah yeah bruce yeah Oh, Diane, it's lovely. Yeah, Carol, I, it's just not... It was very nice to get a, an email from someone, but I just think it's sometimes with YouTube, they just want, they want a sponsor and they just want to put a load of stuff all over your, uh, all over your screen. And I, I, I try to keep the screen to a minimum.
Jamie Campbell, I don't know. I uh, I don't know, but I could uh, I could always ask. That might be sensitive information though. On the uh, on there. Oh, travel master, brilliant. Uh, Pavel Zemnik, I hope I pronounced that right. Hello to you. And Wayne, I, I think it is. I think the last conversation it has, I think it's quite an expensive airport to operate on, but if you look at it in the features and the surroundings of where it is, it's worth that extra cost, I think, for the airlines, especially this is why you see um, your KLMs, your BA. I mean, BA are the biggest operator here, no, no doubt. Um, and it's great to see BA doing so, so well. <coughs> But obviously this is uh, it's good but if you have a look on ba's website now if you go to book flights the prices are becoming very very reasonable now to fly from london city and it's working out about 30 odd 30 odd quid maybe dearer than going to london heathrow now with the transport links that 30 quid if anyone knows what it's like to uh, to drive into london or drive to heathrow it more than makes up for it. Max Jet, thank you very much. One one eight oh seven five. Dark side, Bob. How are you doing? KLM next to start up. Good thing about London City, though, guys. It's very, very quick. It's very, very quick to move in and out of. And now that you don't have to use all of, uh, oh sorry, take out all of your bits and pieces and they've scrapped the 100 mil rule. This is a very quick airport to move in and out of. Sanford Gladstone, how you doing from Palm Desert? It's been very windy here. Hope you're doing brilliant. Aragorn62, so just subscribe and greetings from Belfast. Welcome along, welcome to the family and welcome to East London. Nice chilled out Friday afternoon. Paul Hilbert, 100%. Uh, the Red Guna, they have, and they also, what TFL done as well, is that around Heathrow, you used to be able to jump on the red bus. <laughs> Me sounded like a proper tourist there. You used to be able to jump on all of the, the TFL, the London buses, and it was free all around the airport. You have to pay for that now. So when you look at it, the airport's here, London City, Gatwick for, say, Long Haul, South End, there's a lot of uh, stuff going on at the minute, which is pro which is sort of propelling these airports. Laughing 747, how are you doing? Uh, Forbes, hello to you. Oh, Luxair starting up as well. I'll tell you what, a lot of you like to start up on the Luxair. It's only just arrived in, very quick turnaround. And Stephen Luscombe, the, the, oh, the, uh, that is very cheap. Stuart Eves, hello to you. And the Red Guna. Yeah, this is, this is ideal for me from Essex. I can just jump on a train from uh, Stratford and life is good. Bib the boulder. Papa Hotel Echo Zulu Sierra. It's 
Sanford Gladstein saying you have one of the best stream, streams on YouTube. On Sanford, that means a lot, and thank you so much for the kind words. I really appreciate it. It's you lot that make it though, guys. And Cameron, the biggest aircraft that flies in it at the moment is the Swiss A220, which uh, should be turning up here, I was hoping very soon. The Raguna, you should do. So I'm just waiting for the departure of the KLM aircraft. And Darren Banks, we're just starting, my friend. Tim Gonzalez, yes, all scrapped. Philip Forley, thank you so much for the kind words. Very long hold on the uh, the KLM aircraft. Beautiful. Hugo De Cara, hello to you. Yeah, Leslie White, it seems like a, a it seems like a few issues on uh, on YouTube, Ben, but uh, we're running okay, I believe. Uh, Stephen Remy saying fast takeoff, it's gorgeous. Oh, Philip Forley, very nice. Yeah, Timothy Roach. That that's what I thought, I, and this come from it come through a third party, which I was just like, no, I, I'm I'm not gonna, I'm I'm not gonna sell my soul out for anyone if that makes sense, you know. And all I wanted was my camera fixed. Max S, thank you very much. Beautiful. Look at that.
B Dave, how are you doing? State of the weather over there, oh, almost losing it in the clouds. And gone. Well, there we go. Uh, Peter Kalkin asking, is there any seating? Yes, there is. Right, just while we're waiting for that, a few of you have asked this question actually. Right, so just while we're doing that, because a few of you I think will probably want to come down here in the summer. So if we turn it back around as well. So there's your bins, you've got a load of seats in there. You've got like picnic tables with everything there. Um, which is absolutely brilliant. So if you want to sit down. Um, and then you've also got, once the, uh, what's the BA aircraft going to hold for just a moment. I'll just turn it around. And just there, obviously I'm not endorsed by any of these people guys, but uh, you gotta, that bit there, there's a coffee shop and that thing on top is a Chinese restaurant. So uh, during the summer months, you can sit out there and uh, watch all of the beautiful uh, aircraft. And it's, uh, it's lovely. Shenfield Place, thank you very much. So yeah, um, a few of you have asked that. If I can help guys, it's beautiful down here during the summer though, as uh, I'm sure many of you are aware. Stuart Wilkinson, thank you very much. Honestly, and Barry Price, hello to you. Thank you, mate. Hope you're doing well. Aircraft inbound. Got the second as well. Just uh... Simon Kirby, how are you doing? Make us new as it is. It's very, uh, very quick to get to here as well by the Docklands Light Railway uh, through TfL. Go to Stratford and it's uh, it's brilliant. I think you change at Canning Town. I'm sure it was Canning Town. <laughs> oh, one tasker. Yeah. Other people are uh, other people are available. And uh, yeah, I hope it helps, guys. And obviously, loads of hotels as well. If you want to uh, spend uh, spend time here. Saturday is very quiet though guys, so don't turn up on a uh, on a Saturday. Uh, very, very quiet here. Only runs until about midday. And David Mead, yes there is. I'll show you that as well in, uh, in just a moment once we've caught the KLM. Beautiful KLM. Very, very busy here now with KLM. Stunning. Beautifully down by the KLM aircraft. And flat into the plane earth saying uh, hello from Prince George, uh, British Columbia, Canada. Hello to you. Darren Banks, thank you so much for that. I hope you're keeping safe and well. Oh, sounds like the Dornier is already starting up. Very nice, lovely sounds from that in the background. Three Mins of Aviation. Ah, Three Mins of Aviation. You asked if you could use one of them clips on there. I see it pop up uh, in the comments. Obviously we get so many on there, but please feel free. Just uh, keep the SDTV logo, that's, that's all I ask, but please feel free to use that, um, that clip that you wanted. Patrick Malone, how are you doing? 
and this uh, is an Embraer so this is a 190 operated by BA City Flyer Minutes of, uh, three minutes of aviation, not a problem. Please enjoy. Right, so another aircraft going to be heading out as well. I have to give the, uh, the, the lens a clean down as well in a moment, I reckon. Kenneth Edwards, hello from Toronto, hello to you. Alan James, I will sort that out this afternoon, or once we've finished, I will get that put back up there, I promise you. The link was there. Barry Price, thank you so much, Barry. Honestly, hope you're doing well. Little, I use uh, a car or a little van that I've got. I just wouldn't be able to get around the airport, some of them with, uh, without transport. 500 likes, thank you so much guys, it means a lot. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Right, a lot of you wanted to see the Dornier, so the Dornier 328 now. Heading on to uh, runway 09. Happy days, Bazaar. As you can see, it's operated by Sun Air in the BA colours. Registration Oscar Yankee November, Charlie Oscar. Beautiful. Lovely little jet. Jake again, Bellet, thank you so much for that, honestly. I really appreciate it. Bob Huffbauer saying hello, uh, hello everyone from Ohio. Love your stream. Thank you very much, Bob. Welcome along to the family. And Rob, I'll let the uh, I'll let the Dornier go because obviously there's a lot of questions, guys, about uh, coming down here for spotting. So once the Dornier's departed, I will answer them and I'll give you uh, another little brief rundown of the area because obviously it looks like uh, a few of you will probably be uh, popping down to say hello during the summer months. Yeah, it does look stunning in Chatham Dockyard, doesn't it? Thank you, Matthew Carter. Honestly, that's uh, incredible numbers, guys.
actually, that's a good question. Matt and that is a Dornier 328. Right, so guys, I'm just going to uh, I'm going to get around to some of them questions about the area. I'm going to put me uh, me umbrella up as well. Let's see what cool. Whoa. Just to uh, at least shield some of the camera. Right, so a few of you asked about parking. Uh, around here as well so if you if I turn that back around ever so sort of slowly on there once again where I said to you the uh, the Chinese restaurant and the coffee shop was see where them gates are right there got like uh, the gates and there's like a little red billboard um, uh, sort of there where it says diesel gym obviously other gyms are available that's your car park there uh, it's run through an app uh, it's called just park and just park is the app uh, I pay for seven hours, I pay seven pounds uh, for seven hours, which I don't think is too bad. Um, so it's very, uh, it's very, very good. But obviously if you are um, coming into here, especially Newham, if your vehicle is not currently compliant with a thing called ULES, which is basically a, uh, a charge to drive into uh, some of Greater London, uh, you will be charged £12.50 a day, so obviously check that out. Uh, and you can also as well, others wanted to know what else is around. Them sort of yellow spikes, if you call them over there, that's your Emirates airline. So you can probably see the cable cars over the back there going over. Used to be sponsored by Emirates, unfortunately not anymore. And the yellow bits there is the O2 Arena. Um, so that's Greenwich over there. You can actually walk up. It's a bit of a walk, but you can walk to the... Uh, how do I say, uh, walk to the sort of terminal bit that it is that they've got going on there. And uh, yeah, you can sort of head over to Greenwich and they've got a thing called the Uber boat as well, which will take you into uh, to central London. So uh, yeah, a little bit of a, a sightseeing tour around guys, if you're, uh, if you're planning some time around here, or even if you're, uh, you're planning to fly from LCY. RC Aero, how are you doing? Josh, uh, John Roberts, I'm watching from Wyoming. How are you doing? And Mark Drew, the, the uh, DLR station is Royal Albert Dock. And Becky Davids, it's uh, quite rubbish at the moment. It's uh, raining, quite windy. And Lucy, yeah, people still call it the Millennium Dome. Yeah, what used to be the Millennium Dome, guys? It's called the O2 now. And, uh, yeah, loads of, uh, loads of hotels as well, all around. The travel lodge over there, sort of opposite the airport's got some really nice views if you've got uh if you've got a higher floor and kevin triple seven say thanks for uh the strings and conversation my pleasure kevin thank you very much uh, yeah and a bit of sightseeing for you mark drew no worries But yeah, it's great in, in the summer. Um, Sunday's really good here. Yeah, Keith Grafton, get the microclimate back. <laughs> well, I've got the microclimate back, you, know, you could say that. And Barry Price, yes, that is correct. Yeah, I'll probably have to. Uh, clean down the lens in a minute guys it looks like the uh, the lens got a bit of rainwater on it All right, Gareth Pierce travel thank you very much
few of you have asked about uh, what are the police like around here. Obviously, this is all public public space. Uh, the Metropolitan Police around here are the, the police force that obviously police this. Um, they're absolutely brilliant. Uh, obviously, they are part of like airport police. They're uh, they're armed police, um, but they're very very good. They're very good at uh, keeping people safe. If you have a chat with them, if you're filming, if you get to know them, they'll recognise you instantaneously, leave you alone, but they'll also keep a lookout for you. But anything I would say to you, don't get, don't have any attitude with them, I suppose, is the, the same thing. There's been a few incidents of that, but just be respectful to them and they will, they will look out for you, you know. They're really good people around here. A lufty. Stephen Remy saying, I used to watch LAR and LAX with millions of runways. This is very challenging for the pilots. Uh, does LCY have noise abatement rules? Stephen, thank you so much for that. Uh, and yes, it does. Uh, London City has noise abatement rules. Um, there's only certain hours of the day that they're allowed to be flying from here. And obviously where this is the only airport pretty much in London. That's why you see the steep climb and the steep sort of um, approach into London City. It's all because it's uh, they're trying to minimise the noise, if that makes sense. So it does have noise abatement rules um, here because there's quite a lot of people living around here. But yes, it does. Beautiful lifting. Has. I believe it's 25, I think, 26. Isaac Lefebvre's and uh, thank you for all the good work. Not a problem Isaac, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Hope you're having a great one. Hope you're having a great Friday as well. Yeah, I think the gates go down to, I think it's like number 25, 26, I think it is down there. Yes. Oh, look at that. Look at the wind pushing the, uh, the lifty. Uh, Jacob Gambillick, if you could send me the Metar, that would be fantastic. As I said, with this, uh, this rain here, I just, I'm lost without radar box on the, uh, on the laptop. Can't, uh, I can't have them both running at the same time. I need like an extra pair of hands. And Steve and Remy, they do, all because of the noise abatement. I think they get to about 3,000 feet there. Right. John Roberts, thank you so much. One second, guys. I'm just going to uh, wipe down some of this little bit of rain that's on.
Wheels Aviation. Thank you so much for the kind words, honestly. I, uh, I really appreciate that. It, it means a lot. Right, so it looks like stand four. Right, Jacob Gembellet, thank you, mate. Hasso Basso saying hi, everybody. How are you doing? And anyone that is joining us uh, for the first time, guys, welcome to uh, London City, the East End of London. For our Friday night shows. And Cherise, how are you doing? Hope you're doing brilliant. Hope you've had a good day. And Nictis. Honestly, guys, thank you so much for the uh, light rain. Clouds broken at 2200 feet, overcast at 3500 QNH1004. are about around at one two zero knots. Thank you my friend. And Nick H, thank you so much for that Nick. I really appreciate that. I hope you're keeping well as well. And hello to you lovely lot over there on Facebook. Hope you're having a great Friday. Welcome along. So Basso, they should. It's a brilliant advert though for uh, Embraer. It, it just shows how popular their aircraft are. Jorn Sorensen saying, I'm totally blown away by how steeply the planes climb into the sky. It's great. It, it, this is why I love uh, broadcasting from Finca 630. Thank you so much for that as well. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Hope you're keeping safe. So looking forward to the uh, the Swiss A220 turning up. Kickoff the same BA8707 from uh, Idian next. Very, very nice. Sharice, hello to you over there. What stand was you on? Are you working? Are you want to Unfortunately, I don't. Uh, Craig Fearbold, we're doing the, uh, the best we can, mate. So stand three will be the next aircraft ever. She was saying I just wrote to the Lord Mayor of London. <laughs> John. <laughs> John Roberts. Ah, <laughs> oh, Charisse, are you all the way down the... Uh, the other end. Oh. I think we've got it. I think it's just been that uh, since Wednesday, the, the UK, as you've seen by the streams, guys, it's been all sorts of weather that we've had uh, this week. I mean, you can see it here now in the uh, the stream. It's not crystal clarity. You can just see the, the, the darkness, you know. You and Prancy, how you doing? Paul 
old Santa, really. Uh, Barry Price, yes, hopefully within about the next uh, 10 minutes, I believe. guys I, I will stay in in all sorts of weather but when you see triple sevens and Gatwick stopping the departures for weather avoidance that's my time to call it especially with that uh, that lightning yesterday a little bit so much rain on the lens Captain Nathan how are you doing okay Ella saying hello to everyone from Venice Italy hello to you phase cloud Chromium, or Chromiums, and hello, hello to you. Matt Carter, it's the one, isn't it? So Alpha Charlie out this time. Sean Pierce, hello to you from Stonehenge. Now uh, we're just getting started, my friend. Just say how are you doing?
this uh, landing clearance as well. Nigel Warner. Ah, it's lovely now we're at. we're starting that bit later as well in the uh, in the afternoon. Ali, thank you very much. Paul Hilbert, thank you very much. Yeah, it's lovely and chilled, isn't it? I think the sounds make it, guys. So if any of you have got the sound bar on, my apologies to uh, your neighbours. <laughs> Sunny Sky, California. Hello to you, Aviation Emily. And the Swiss inbound next, the A220. And Steve and Remy, yes they do. At the moment, captains only landings here at the second, I do believe. So inbound next with the Swiss. D Moore, yes I have. Have a read, thank you very much. Ah, so we've got the Helvetic this time, not the A220. So we've got the E2. into that. Uh, Dazzo, how are you doing? <laughs> might, might just be the way that it's uh, encoding it. I'll have a look into that. The Foxy B, no worries. Hello to you. Technically think that's true. I hope you're doing well. So the KLM on stand seven. Next one. Ooh. Looks like they are. And Nick says thank you very much. That hum. <clears throat> ah, Chavs. No worries. <laughs> Michelle D. <laughs> My apologies. Absolutely beautiful. Right, so it looks like two uh, KLM aircraft. Alex Hilton saying, hi guys, new subscriber. Been watching a while though. Well, hello to you, Alex. Hope you're doing brilliant and welcome to the family. That sound was just beautiful, guys. I hope you, uh, I hope you picked that up as well.
Donald Sorison saying wonderful sounds. Two KLM aircraft now with their engines started. Alex Hill saying he used to work in Main Canary Wharf Tower. It was weird watching planes heading towards uh, London City. Cool, but you had a great view. Guys, just had to uh, cover up a few more things. Seven hundred and twenty likes. Thank you so much, guys. Honestly, your support is uh, amazing. Thank you. Uh, Oliver dots. They are very, uh, very rare. Very rare. You do get them though. Yeah, Kev Miller, it's great, isn't it? Oh, Alex Hill wants an amazing view from London from the 23rd floor. I wouldn't have got any work done, mate, especially if they was on zero nights. I would have just been uh, looking out the window. Aviation Emily, unfortunately it can't. No, the biggest aircraft at the moment that's certified to land here is an A220, uh, but an Airbus 318 used to operate from here to JFK, a Speedbird 001. Uh, unfortunately, COVID did put an end to that. Stephen Rouse, how are you doing? JD, been ages ago since I've been able to, great to see. Hello JD, hope you're doing well. I've got the slight whiff now of the uh, the rubber from the tyres of that BA Embraer. And Cherise, you are correct. Be lovely when they, uh, when they turn up here, great sight to see. Lennon Polanco, don't worry. Looks like X-ray Charlie. Papa Hotel, Echo X-Ray Charlie. Beautiful. few of you asked for that shot you just about get just how steep that aircraft departs Andrew Main everything is perfect my friend hope it is for you as well
Chav, so we'll do. I couldn't see. I'll see if I can do something with a zoom. London cabbie said used to work at London City, great airport. Alan Rayx and uh, from Rio de Janeiro. Egg one saying Chris home early ready for the weekend stay warm my friend we will do hope you're doing well LM City Hopper LCY Chris how are you doing Upper Hotel Echo Zulu Charlie Maybe he wanted to fly. saying uh, hello for the marketing team at LCY how you doing Nick hope you're doing absolutely brilliant hope you guys are having a great one and once again uh, a round of applause like always uh, from the channel over to you amazing guys for what you do hope you're doing well though Nick yeah, I think the round of applause is uh, Definitely need to go to LCY guys, as we say every single week. But Nick, hope you're doing well. Cracking job. Looks like inbound next ATR, I believe is the Logan Air. So we're just gonna pan that round. Nick Akilos, how are you doing? So him down with a shortbread, the nickname there. Trusty Logan Air. <laughs> yeah, I will have a look at that World Cup poster. I'll see what we can do.
beautifully down. Another firm favourite of the channel here, guys. Nick Knight, they don't. Trusty Logan here. G Beth saying uh, good afternoon from Ottawa. How are you doing? Worldwide audience this afternoon. I think I found out what that pixelated uh, thing that you was asking about, guys, on there. Looks like my YouTube takes me down from 1080 60 to 720 60, and I keep having to uh, to turn it around. That's why it looks a little bit uh, pixelated on there. It's not very happy with uh, the chew for doing that. And Alan Rex and uh, Rio de Janeiro connected to you. And TM saying good evening everyone. Amazing stream as always. Chris hats off to all the awesome mods and the team in the background as well. Hey London City. Glad you enjoy guys. <laughs> Timothy Roach. As I said to Sony, that's all I want. I don't want no sponsorships. I just want my. Uh, I just want my camera back. That's all I want. Oh, coffee. How you doing? And Diane MC. That's brilliant. I think it might just be on the app. John Roberts. You take care. Eight hundred likes. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, Steve and Remy, they are yes. They do happen, but uh, ninety percent of the times, these uh, pilots land these aircraft in one go here in all conditions. The only time I think you'd ever be uh, going around is obviously if it is too unsafe. John M, it makes sense. Uh, Shane McCusker, that is still in uh, the consultation. I believe, anyway. I haven't delved too much, uh, too much into it. Yeah, Stephen. Stephen Remy, they are uh, are amazing staff here. Like the the crews that land here. Hello to Gary Goodchild and Midge two five zero eight. Thank you so much, Midge. Phil Loxon, hello to you. Yeah, Adrian Cox. Beautiful. Santa, really look forward to these streams and chats. I'm glad you do. We've got a, we've got a nice bunch of people here. And Elsie White, Chris. Thank you, mate. Park saying cheers from America. Hope uh, you're well and appreciate the uh, the plane spotting content. Not a problem at all. People from uh, all over the globe tuning in. Yeah, take right, take the right, and 
And Tom West will say, new to the channel, mate. Love what you do. I work at Bristol, so I see these views daily. <laughs> well, welcome along, Tom. Thank you to Phil Loxham as well. James Cridland, I think he's uh, lurking in the background. Okay, Suzanne Malin, how are you doing? Busy with work and watching now, no worries. <laughs> so <laughs> so and the Bill Carr saying new to the channel and loving it. Well, welcome along the Bill. Hope you're doing brilliant. And uh, Phil Loxham, as I said, uh, I'm just a man filming this stuff all the real thanks goes to the uh, the guys and girls over at london city that make this uh, amazing show happen carolise this is definitely uh, the best runway this is zero nines this is amazing when it's on uh, zero nines <coughs> Me, myself, unfortunately, still none, no. Said I do hope she's okay. And Pure Dance Radio UK saying respect, the weekend has landed. Hello to you. Gonna miss LCY, uh, LCY Chris is marshalling while we're catching the, uh, the next aircraft. Mike Schmidt, you too. Hey, Sam, I'll speak to you in a minute. Hello to you, uh, Mike Washka. Beautiful. Right, LCY Chris said that he was marshalling this uh, aircraft in. John M, they are. Beautiful. I'll see why, Chris. I think we've, uh, I think we got you there. Always happens, right at the, uh, at the minute that an aircraft is turning up. Uh, Michelle D. Yes. So you got your magnetic compass, haven't you? Uh, so 360 degrees. So you've got zero nine here, which would be zero nine zero degrees, give or take. And then you've got the other end, which is two seven, which would be two seven zero degrees. Obviously, give or take. I believe it's every. From what the ATC controller, um, what is it? From what Eve was saying, the ATC controller at South End was that I think it's every 10 years that the sort of change just a little bit. So basically, it's all to do with the magnetic uh, compass heading on there. So this is pretty much the same as uh, as Heathrow. So Heathrow 0927. London City here, 0927. <laughs> I'm not getting involved in that. But yeah, it's fascinating to... Uh, it's 
fascinating the way that airports work I, I just love it I, I love the whole the whole montage of it. I just love the whole lot of it I, I think it's great Nicola Carter hello to you Ah, Nixis, I didn't know that. Michelle D, no worries. Yeah, D Moore. I, I think that was uh, when we had, the, as I said, when we uh, when when we talked on stream with uh, Eve, the controller. Um, that's sort of where it is. But I have noticed that that has been uh, slight deviations in uh, in headings. And they class saying 850 likes. Thank you so much, guys. Aaron, Aaron, 39 minutes in. And I have added the clock to it now. It's a little bit bigger. It's still in green though, but uh, it should be showing you 6.04 p.m. So Alpha Foxtrot. Stephen Luscombe, I, I love it. it. Everyone makes an airport work. It's not just the pilots and the cabin crew. Every single person makes an airport work. Massive team effort. Uh, Kevin Blaney saying, I just found your channel and I'm an engineer here at London City. Great to see someone streaming from here. Well, welcome along, Kevin. Thanks for the kind words. We are here every Friday. I'm glad you're enjoying it. One of the uh, one of the highlights of the week. I know, Alexia. It's frightening. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, so shutting down the engines. So uh, BA City flight on stand three. Aircraft next. So that's, uh, myself or pan myself slowly round. Matthew Carter. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know whether it would be too much. A little clock on there, but it seems to work quite well actually in the. Uh, in there and Kevin please do we always try to catch you you and your fellow colleagues as much as we can so please do so remove the chocks you like the clock then guys I'm gonna, as I said I'm gonna see if I can get it in white it was supposed to turn up in white uh, I'll put it in black as well but it's come up in green so Chris Goodwin yeah <laughs> it's, the, it's the sound of the weekend L Glams, thank you very much, that's good. Demi Jade, hello to you. Beautiful. Well, here in the UK, it looks like a lot of people in the comments are uh, 
saying it's wine o'clock time, so enjoy it, guys. Rich B, brilliant. Ah, Stephen. Landing light there. Ah, right, there we go. And back with a lot from Vilnius. Beautifully down. Sierra Papa Lima Mike Charlie and Nick Tissan, the Swiss A220 is currently over the channel. Brilliant stuff. Yes, <laughs> Shane McCusker. Exactly. Les Walker, brilliant. Alright, so we'll keep that up. Brilliant, yeah. yeah, D Moore. It takes about uh, a minute for the uh, the whiff of the uh, the tire smoke. Another aircraft inbound as well. Over to my right. Alpha Bravo this time. Glad it can help. Oh, the Lux there next. Chris, how are you doing? Carter, no worries, my friend. We'll see you again on the next one. Cassie and Benji, how are you doing? Hope you're both doing very well. Happy Friday. 
Ah, right, so someone asked me about the... Uh, So we wanted to try and find Is it that? Is it this that someone was saying that there was a footballer in there? I can't see it guys for the life of me. I think it was there but I can't oh, I can't see it. <clears throat> Schmidt saying that a good landing from the uh, the Lux here. Yeah, L Blams. No, I didn't either. Uh, well, whatever uh, that advert was, they got a free advert for collecting, uh, connecting business globally there. <laughs> yeah, Chavs, I, I, I can't see it. I, I, I don't know. No, that's all right, Chavs, no worries. Could have been Mo Salah. Doris Betts says, uh, totally worth it. Misty Siesta. And Joel Hinkson, thank you very much. Climbing up onto 40,000 subscribers. That is uh, at some feet are going. Caribbean Joel. Perfectly down. Pilots are absolutely smashing it today. Oh, Roger not. Yeah, I've been on a few of them. John M, it's, it's great. The variety here in the afternoon is just amazing. Uh, Chris, I have done a face reveal. Um, it's up on our uh, our Instagram and our Facebook. Yeah, a few of you uh, have asked. Yankee Kilo this time. Cherise saying, uh, stand 24, good to go. Absolutely brilliant, thank you Cherise.
Webbo, hello to you and hello to you Rob Young, hope you're doing brilliantly. Yes, it is. And lost in the clouds. John M, please, please stay away because BA's uh, Chatham Dockyard livery is my, uh, it's my favourite too. A nice and look forward to these Friday night streams. What is the degree angle after takeoff? That's a steep climb. I believe it's five and a half degrees. I'm sure it's five and a half degrees. Was that the arrival? I'm sure it's 5.5. .5. Correct me if I'm wrong though, guys. I'm sure that was what it was. Danny Polkinghorn, however, you, however look, because a couple of you have said that, that are watching on the app, said that it's a little bit pixelated, but me myself yeah there is rain to come let's get the umbrella up once this uh, next aircraft has arrived ah 10 degrees as uh, ascent yeah there we go brilliant stuff guys and then cable thank you very much Beautifully down. And let's see why it's saying the, uh, the Swiss A220 just approaching Gravesend. Guys, I am lost with our radar box here today. Honestly, this weather has uh, been on and off. Uh, hello from Japan, how are you doing? Uh, SF said flew Luxe from London City yesterday. Quite a great flight, and the approach was just something else. It's great, isn't it? We believe that that's an uh, advert, guys. We believe it might. We believe it's Deutsche Bank. <laughs> Obviously, other banks are available. Chris Goodwin, no, no rowers, no rowers today. Saying that, they've been quiet for the past about five, five and a bit weeks. Uh, Neil Brown, yes, we'll be back to uh, LHR tomorrow. Back for our uh, Saturday morning show. So our normal start time, guys, between half seven and eight. Glenn Turner, yeah, a bit windy. It's, it's the gusts that are causing the uh, a bit of the problems. But uh, yeah, typical damp, grey British uh, scenery, isn't it? Uh, Stephen Remy, yes, they do. There is a private terminal over to my right. of you have asked for that so there is the oh, if it ever wants to focus so there is the London City Airport private jet centre sometimes on a Friday evening we're lucky enough to get the uh, the shell they have a shell was it, I'm sure it's a, a falcon 
Neil Brown, absolutely brilliant. Stephen Remy, not a problem at all. Yeah, this airport has everything. Yankee uniform this time. Danny Polkin also, it must be a YouTube thing. Typical. Yeah, the Red Gooner, I can only imagine. Yusef Fett, hope you're doing well. All right, Logan Air is uh, getting ready to go. John M, it just keeps happening with the platform though, doesn't it? Love the variety again, guys. This is what makes Friday so brilliant. She wants to say I'm going to have a sandwich. <laughs> And little, yes, they are at this precise second. <clears throat> and Nick Tis, thank you very much. Looking forward to the Swiss A220. Will you take care as well? Right, I can see the Swiss. Hello, Sassy Bob. Uh, Yusuf, uh, it's been uh, it's been very 
up and down, shall we say, with the uh, with the weather. Around. We've got the Swiss, another firm favourite. <coughs> Molly's in the club, how are you doing? So there she goes, the Swiss A220. Gastronema, San Muerto Botai, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hey, uh, Starbuck. JY Gamer agreed. Move a silk from the uh, the Swiss once again. Epic guys. And little, yes. Do you know what? I missed the uh, I missed the 146 or the Avro jet. Who doesn't love a prop plane, guys? 960 likes thank you so so much for your support guys it means a lot and a beautiful logan air the atr Beautiful guys. Uh, behind the skies, everything's been really good today. It's been very, very busy. Just what we like to see. Stay with me, not a problem. Lee Rose, how are you doing? And once again, hello to everyone on Facebook over there. Hope you're having a brilliant, brilliant Friday afternoon. Thank you so much for, uh, for joining us. I think that's uh, the second Logan Air aircraft that's inbound. And a thousand likes. Thank you so much, guys. I really, really appreciate that. Oh, very nice. The Helvetic as well, guys. Hold on, right. So, sorry if that makes anyone a little bit nauseous. So, the E2, making lights on, getting ready to go.
Yeah, we get a lovely shot of the uh, the E2 guys once again backtracking like it normally does when they're on zero nines. Take care, Samil. Clive, you take care, mate. Listen, enjoy. Have a great one. Enjoy the wine. Beautifully down. And we move that over. Just to the right, we've got the BA City Flyer in Brea. Currently holding short. So, once again guys, aircraft will enter the active runway all the way to the top where the BA aircraft is currently to my right and then it will backtrack meaning turning around and then head out for departure normally this is uh, a beautiful shot Never gets old, does it guys? Never, ever, ever gets old. Oh, oh. Ah, love zero nine operations. Mick Smith, wow, now you're talking. down with the lifty. Love it when it's like this guys. You see what I meant about uh, Friday evenings? <coughs> Yankee Tango this time. Lee Rose, thank you mate.
and Gemma Rowe. This is in the uh, in the summer schedule. This airport is non-stop in the evenings. It's just it's been a long time coming. <laughs> Okay, Miller saying it's a fascinating airport. And this is why we love coming here on a Friday night. I just think it's the perfect place to, uh, to start the weekend. So the second A220, Swiss. Cameron, you take care. Saying the uh, Friday evening fish and chips, STTV at London City, job done, absolutely brilliant. Enjoy. CD725 saying love City Airport. Sarja Wood with the, uh, the Wookie or the Swiss emoji and we have worked on a few different emojis guys which I, I said I'll put on there honestly it's keeping in as I said we're not going to go too over the top with all of that stuff but it's something that I think will uh, well, there's about three or four that I think will just benefit the channel uh, 204 driver and they're living near uh, Lakeside so you normally have them on approach to 27 That would be Lakeside Essex. Matt Hurst. Can't put my finger on it. Yeah, that there's not many people that can. It's just so it's got that closeness vibe. It's got a very family orientated vibe, hasn't it? You know? Stuart Hitch, brilliant. And Tony Cooksey, thank you very much. Probably gonna have to get the uh Umbrella out again in a moment. That smell of the tyre smoke, which has just uh, whiffed it across my nose at this minute. CD725, I don't know. That is one thing I can't answer. Obviously, commercial reasons, there would be a reason it's not on the... Uh, on the list it may be people wasn't uh, using it as much and Michelle D you enjoy we'll see you again soon Seven two five, and they're very expensive as well. The uh, the trains. Timothy Roach, how are you doing? Actually, I showed her, uh, I showed some of the the old footage that we had of uh, 
the BAE 146s or the Avro jets um, when we used to broadcast down by a place called the Teresa Joanne which I'm full, the, the boat's still there but you, you can't stand there anymore um, our old it used to be the, our old place years ago but it's all sort of closed down I, I sent some to uh, to some of the guys at London City and it's just sort of reminiscing over the Fly B Dash 8s it used to have here the 146s the uh, the Embraer 170s uh, the Saabs that Logan Air used to have in here yeah it was brilliant it was such a, a crack Barb saying great work thank you so much for that and honestly Kevin D thank you very much for that Kevin I really appreciate that I'm gonna uh... I'm just going to uh, wipe down the lens again, guys, because I can see a little bit of rain's got on the uh, the lens. So I'll just keep it apportioned on the Lux here. Hello, Nana. This is Hello, this is one one three seven up. Three nine three seven. Three nine three seven. Sounds like the KLM inbound next as well. Honestly, Bars, thank you very much. I do hope you keep it safe. So that's a lovely lineup over there though isn't it if you uh you have a look two swiss a220s lovely atr in the middle slightly jealous of the uh the airfield ops and uh everyone working at london city tonight that they've got that view uh hakan dagan saying hi to you all from uh, izmir in turkey hello to you hope oh, you had a great friday In bad next to KLM. <clears throat> uh, Alan Wynn, yes, and the reason I'll let the uh, the KLM aircraft arrive. Yes, all the cars are obviously uh, there. They are the ops cars, and they will just be uh, keeping an eye, uh, making sure that everything is okay. You see it driving up all throughout the stream. Um, sometimes they are getting rid of some of the birds as well, because sometimes you do have birds sort of uh, flock here. Obviously, you're next to water, so there's uh, a few bits there, but yeah, that car is there to keep obviously everyone safe. <coughs> Another eyes on the field, shall we say. See why Chris hang on where was that? I've just missed that. Ah right, stand five. I'll tell you what, let's have a uh got you on stand five over there. If you give a thing, give away, there might be one of you over there standing by the uh the building. So I'll keep an eye on everything there. James Isher Woods saying I miss you going every stream but you are not there. <laughs> right, so there we go. KLM will be going into stand five. So we'll follow that up and we'll catch a LCY Chris this time. David T, how you doing? So you're lucky it's still dry in London. Uh, no, it's started to rain. I don't know whether you can hear the sort of pitter patter on the uh, um, on the cover over the uh, the camera. We're not that lucky yet. yet. <laughs> yeah, you said that they do pretty much the same here. It's like a it might be a pop, or you'll get some uh, sounds. Ed Len, thank you very much. We'll try our best, my friend. Hello, 
the tick. Beautiful. So there you go, Chris. Brilliant. German Airways in next. hybrid colour which I believe I may be very wrong but I believe that was something to do with BA I think that might have been uh, one of BA's 190s or it might have been something else but uh, I'm sure that's what someone sent me Ed Len our pleasure beautiful right so Luxair just styling its props <laughs> yeah Lee Clark I thought it was someone did send me that so it was XBA City Fly I thought it was that's brilliant Philip Sega, yes. This is why I was saying to everyone over the winter, you have to wait until March, April time for uh, the shows to really come alive. Hence what you're seeing now, just action, pure action. Catherine Green, hello to you. Uh, right, so the German Airways was uh, ex Golf Lima Charlie Yankee Yankee. Michael Jones and hello, uh, hello there from across the pond in Scottsdale, Arizona, USA. Go Boeing Co. Oh, brilliant stuff. Hello to you, Michael. Stand. Oh, it looks like we've got an aircraft as well getting ready to go. Oh, the lot is getting ready to go as well. Three aircraft looks like they're uh, going to be heading out for departure. Beacon light on the lot as well. Uh, Aircraft spotter John saying hello from uh, Anaheim in California. How are you doing? Hope you're doing very, very well.
204 driver, you are correct. Ah, Mike Schmidt. Jenny Carver saying evening guys, first time here and fab, well thank you so much. Welcome along to the family. Hello Alex Heath, and Michael Jones. Beautiful. <clears throat> it's a focus in man with a German Airways taxi in here. Do Lil saying uh, hello everyone, Brazil here, uh, watching this amazing line. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. <clears throat> Six here it is. This is. Uh, a very, very quick turnaround time here. Or within about 45 minutes. I think the quickest we've seen it done is about 20 odd. Thomas and hello, hello to you. And Gregory, thank you very much. I'm glad you're enjoying it, guys. BA City flight. <laughs> Alpha Hotel. And here, Ian Hawley, it's, uh, it's lovely, isn't it, when I like this? Green, thank you so much for your uh, continued support. 
tent tops. And Alan Campion, it's nice to see, isn't it? Messenger Mike, hello to you from uh, St. Louis. Hello, Ted Tours. Uh, nice strider, how you doing? He's here. Hello Andrew. Uh, 204 driver, it's uh, about 90 miles away in a place called Swanick. Molly's in the club, y'all. Thank you very much, honestly. I really appreciate that. And 1.1k likes, honestly. Thank you so much for your support, guys. See, I told you London City never lets down on a Friday evening. And this is what it's all about. Gregory Percival. I'll uh, I'll show the climb out again. A few of you have asked for the uh, the climb out. So once uh, we'll get Alpha Fox truck. Pull that back a bit. A few of you are wanting to see the climb out from a different perspective, so we'll do that. Uh, MC, evening all, how you doing? Uh, collect coals, I believe that the sunset is due at 19.45, so we'll uh, probably stay here till that. Might even be later though, all dependent. We'll just uh, we'll go with the flow. I'm gonna put the chargers in in a moment, and then, uh, yeah, we'll just go with the flow.
a few of you asked for that shot as you can see the climb out guys James Isherwood you take care my friend see you again on the next one Yeah, Kev Miller, this uh, credit to them all. It's run like a military operation here, but the people are so, they're so good. Like they're so down to earth as well. Michael Jones saying another big hello from uh, the people who didn't know about this content. Scottsdale, Arizona, USA, about five of us now. Well, welcome along and thank you very much for joining. We are here every single Friday. Midnight Star, how you doing from the Yorkshire coast? Colette, it's great, isn't it? Jamie Campbell, thank you. Yeah, this is what uh, I told you guys, it's worth the wait here. It's thing is though, don't expect this all the time because they are on zero nines at the moment. 80% uh, of the time it is uh, two seven. So we're very lucky at the moment. <coughs> Yankee Oscar this time. Little, yes, many times. Near enough every week we catch someone that watches the channel, whether it be a viewer, whether it be a pilot, whether it's someone working airside. Every single week we will catch someone that watches the channel over there and there'll be a wave. Obviously you can't see much through the terminal buildings and the, uh, and, and the cabin windows, but every week now, um, yeah, we get people. It's brilliant. Off to Amsterdam. Mark Barrow, our pleasure. Comrade Rowe, hello to you. spoke to uh, straight into the English grey sky we spoke to a few of the uh, the cabin crew as well that fly for British Airways City Flyer a lot uh, a lot of the cabin crew follow us as well which is uh, which is very humbling um, <clears throat> one of them was in the uh, I think it was like the jump seat or something like that I think it was but they said that when you see this it actually feels like that sort of roller coaster uh, when you're departing, they said it's just absolutely incredible. Right, so the Logan. Right, I'm going to uh, just plug in a few bits then, guys. Five four five Alpha, contact temp director one three three decimal four five five. One three three four five five. Fly four five five. with me just uh, about 30 seconds just want to plug everything in
Logan here. Gonna be next. Might get a slight jolt as well in the uh, in the camera just while I'm uh, connecting the external battery. in yes it is so there we go <laughs> Kev Miller So there is the Logan Air. <coughs> and GXD 10 edits and the Lux Air from Antwerp is on the way. Absolutely brilliant. Ed Len. <laughs> okay. Kaz, well I hope um I hope everything's okay. And I hope you're feeling okay. lovely if, uh, some fighter aircraft saying that though during the uh, during the pandemic there was a c-130 that landed here so there was a hercules that uh, that arrived into lcy unfortunately i couldn't do anything guys i was uh, bound to lockdown so i couldn't get to the uh, the airport and do anything uh, nick smith's about five and a half degrees but i don't know the rate of climb i will ask Jimmy Jazz, yes. We're here, we'll catch it or we'll try and catch it for you. Jazz, as I said, we're trying to sort the, uh, the top of the Hyatt again, but we was going to do it in January. The weather was awful. February, weather was awful. You can't really have people around there on a rooftop in weather that we've been just experiencing that's been rubbish, just unsafe. Gemma Rose saying, watching this uh, is making me look forward to my flight next week even more. Off to Larnaca from Manchester for my 40th birthday. Absolutely brilliant. Well, happy birthday for next week and I hope you have a uh, safe flight. been a very very busy two hours 48 minutes so the next inbound the Lux here John M, of course.
John M. That's one of the main reasons that we actually go to obviously the different airports that we visit because everyone has a particular choice and it's nice being able to give people that choice instead of just being sort of in one place, you know? I well, flew as much as I would love to stay till the, uh, the end. So, uh, pub is calling. Listen, go and enjoy the pub. Rob, take care and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great one. Anyone that is heading down the pub now though, guys, we completely understand. Trust me, if I, uh, if we wasn't running our Saturday show, I'd probably be uh, down the pub as well. Or heading towards there about eight o'clock. Beautiful Logan Air. Louis de Haan, thank you so much for that, Louis. Honestly, I really appreciate it. Hope you're keeping safe as well. Yeah, Diane, that's it. Chris Green Street, thank you very much. Definitely something special about that tartan paint scheme though, isn't it? It really is beautiful. And Gregory, thank you. <laughs> Honestly, thanks for your kind words, guys. It means a lot. MD11. MD11, glad you're uh, enjoying. And seeing that someone did say... Oh, okay. Catherine Green, thank you. So busy in the chat today, guys. It's uh, it's lovely. Uh, the Logan Air aircraft will be heading probably up to um, Dundee or anywhere in Scotland. Tony Cooksey saying, my missus has gone to the pub. I've stayed in to watch TV. That's dedication, my friend. <laughs> Brilliant. And Simon Foley, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> Sunday's my day. I get to do both. I get to watch all of the reruns of the, uh, of the channel, what's gone on over the week, to obviously sort of have a look over and sort of digest and see if there's anything we can do better is there anything we can tweak and then I uh, I watch that in a pub with the headphones on which is quite nice very good that's incredible Chris M thank you so much and Robert Smith saying hello all lunchtime in Los Angeles well hello to you in LA oh very nice this Swiss now the beacon light is on on the A220 no one task it's Incredible. Right, so let's move that around. There we go. Beacon light on the Swiss. Uh, Gemma Rosa, I've moved from the PC and streaming onto the TV now. It's brilliant on the 55 inch. Absolutely brilliant. And Tracy Byram, our pleasure. Uh, free after a hectic week. Thanks so much from Ontario, Canada. As I said, our pleasure. And David Wallace saying, watching from Ottawa. Welcome along, guys. Uh, 
Yeah, and of course, okay, wouldn't that be uh, wouldn't that be nice? Right. So engine number one, they are starting first. Susan Rawlings is so loving the action from London City, my favourite airport. Absolutely brilliant. The Lufties uh, starting its engines as well on stand 10, just over to my right. Saying that, there is a, uh, there is a pub in London that has, I think it's an aeroplane pub, and it has Concorde seats in it where you can sit down and you can sit in aeroplane seats drinking a beer or drinking an alcoholic beverage or a non-alcoholic beverage whatever tickles your, your, your fancy so actually I might have a pop up there one day or send them an email see if they can uh, <laughs> put that stuff on in there Alan Campion thank you very much uh, Martin Chapman saying I just found your street and, and love it thank you not a problem Martin thank you very much all right, so we've got the Swiss, the KLM, and the Lufty. Right, so we just. So the KLM getting ready to go. Slowly around to there. The Lufty will stand 10. Keith in Miami, how are you doing? It's time for me to head to a happy hour. <laughs> to happy hour. <laughs> we'll enjoy it. And Tony Cooksey. Normally on the left hand side it will be engine number one, right hand side will be engine number two. That's normally how they they run it. So yeah, left. It was always my understanding that left is engine one, right is engine two. I may be completely wrong on that. Please correct me guys if I if I am but that is what I was always always taught and Ken Fong how you doing from San Francisco 1120 mild breeze and much love to all hello to you my friend yeah Jim I'll uh, I'll find the details of it Tony Cooksey no worries and Alexandra Wood yeah it's in central it's in central London um, can't remember what it was called for the life of me. I will find it though. Breeze 147 and London Cabby. Ah, right, London Cabby, there you go. We've got a cabby on here. That'll be the Sussex Arms in Paddington, guys. So there you go, London Cabby, you are a legend. So there we go, guys. Head to Paddington and you can go and sit in Concord seats while having a, uh, a drink of beer or whatever else. Uh, Canal Curtis and saying good evening. Hello to you and good evening. Oh, London Cabby, you are a legend for that. Thank you very much. <coughs> and Fernando Constantino saying happy Friday from Seattle, Boeing Town. How are you doing? Thanks to everyone on the uh, on the west coast. Almost a smile on there, isn't there? Dom C. Long, it looks like that's going to be the uh, the meet up place. And happy Friday from uh, Coxie for Ken. Beautiful.
have the double Swiss guys. So let's pull this around. The first Swiss that's going to be entering uh, runway 09 and then the second Swiss over there as well. Double departure of the A220s. Speedbird 009, thank you very much. Oh yeah, zero nine. When it's on zero nines, these are. Oh, it makes it worth it, guys. Kev Miller, you enjoy. KJ, how are you doing, Tony Rivers? And Brian Cox, thank you very much, mate. And John Kemp, it is. Jonathan Vogel, I thought it might have been that, about 3,000 feet a minute. Stunning sounds from the Swiss guys. What a marvellous machine. Tixi, absolutely brilliant. Ah, oh, Nick, nah, you, I don't think you can ever beat the uh, the Vulcan how or the Vulcan how. And Dartmoor Pete, thank you for the kind words. So 19.30 guys, or 7.30 p.m. here in the East End of London. Oh, one task, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Carol Ann, how are you doing? And Robert Smith, yes, we had the, uh, the Dornier in, uh, in here about two hours ago. Messenger Mike and a little something for you to have a few beers at the Sussex Arms and have one for me as well. well. Thank you very much, Messenger Mike. I really appreciate that. Let me keep him safe. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you, Mike. Like the aircraft are getting a nice little headwind now. Yeah, honestly, messenger Mike, thank you so much. So I'm getting ready for the second Swiss. And messenger Mike, once again, thank you for the kind words. I really, I really appreciate that. 
Hamid Mane. <laughs> And Paul Matt saying, brilliant stream again, Chris. Thanks to you and the mods, drive safe. We'll see you on the next one. You too, my friend. Glad you enjoyed. Glad you all enjoyed, guys. Can't believe it's just gone half past seven and it's still, uh, it's still light. It's brilliant. Neil Rob, our pleasure. And the KLM would have been off to uh, to Amsterdam. All right, so what have they started? Both engines are now running. You can probably see that over in the background there. And another KLM aircraft just uh, been given its clearance to land as well. And Brian Cox, yes it is. Flight control surfaces. Ah, oh, Speedbird 009. Headphones make the difference, don't they? And Midnight Star, our pleasure. We'll see you again on the next one. And there we go. Second Swiss on the move. Oh, Tommy D. I think uh, I think climate protesters would have a, uh, a field day if you had aircraft from the uh, the 60s, 70s, and uh, <clears throat> 80s flying around today. Beautiful. Jim, no worries. Thank you very much, guys. 1.2K likes. Much love to you all. Thank you. <clears throat> Mohammed Mane, pretty much. So the, uh, the second Swiss of the show. We'll be doing the same thing. Actually, we do have a city flyer in Brea, just to the right-hand side. They did. Um, there was also, um, I think a few years ago, someone from a, a climate protesting group, uh, he super glued himself to one of the, uh, the aircraft here, um, got on top of the Embraer and super glued himself to it, which was just, uh, I understand, listen, I'm all for saving the planet and everything, but you call, there was a lot of issues I think caused here, you know, there, there's, there's ways of going about it. <laughs> Susan R. saying, great stream. I put this towards a pub visit. Well, thank you, Susan. Honestly, I really appreciate that. The thing is, guys, all the, all the donations they don't they don't exactly go towards the pub. They all go back into into the channel, and it just goes into upgrading the equipment and and things like that. So, if I've got a little spare. I might have a few pints in the Concord pub. Canada Jim saying you're my favourite plane spotting channel, especially the Fridays. Well, thank you very much, Canada Jim. Yeah, Lex here. I think I think BA, from what I read in the papers, I think he was charged with uh, put on like a no-fly list and and charged with the cost of um, obviously delaying the flight and, and things like that. That's what I read anyway. Oh. For the sake of no worries at all, my friend. And uh, Jamie W saying thanks for another great Friday show to Chris and all the mods. Appreciate all of you. And Jamie, we appreciate you, my friend, and we appreciate every single one of you that spends your time here with us. So thank you to you all. I really, really appreciate your kindness. It's 
So it's like another dash eight. What is going on with the? Uh, I wonder if I need to potentially uh, clean the lens down again. So much variety here this afternoon, guys. And Mark Appleby, thank you very much. It's looking that way. It looks like the Swiss is going to be heading out first. Mark Appleby, don't worry, mate. Rob Young, it'd be lovely if uh, if BA did get the A220. This aircraft in uh, Chatham Dockyard colours would be just beautiful. Tony Cooksey, how are you doing? Thank you so much for that. Robert Smith, our pleasure. Glad you enjoyed. We'll see you again on the next one. Alexandra, we're loving the sounds of the Wookiee. Beautiful, guys. And that is what the Friday is here at LCY are all about. Not only do we get to see these beautiful Chatham Dockyard livery embrayers, we also get such a wide variety of these aircraft. Wow song. So you don't need white noise guys, you just need uh, the sound of an A220 at London City. <coughs> Go one tasker, you take care as well. Love it guys, look at that, love that shot. Uh, Alexia, unfortunately not, no. Oliver Dots. These are full take uh, full power takeoffs as well.
beautiful. I noticed that the, uh, the takeaway talk has once again begun. It looks like a pineapple on pizza. Here's the discussion. Ever read. And there are two of them, Heather, so you, uh, you're getting quite lucky with that tonight. Starman Pete, how are you doing, my friend? Hope you're doing brilliantly. Trevor Endors, couldn't agree with you more. What a cracker of a show it's been tonight, guys. Absolute cracker. Ooh. KJ Sands got the, uh, the, the prawn curry. <laughs> Chris, our, our pleasure, my friend. Wow, how is that? Quarter to eight nearly. Where has that time gone? Russ Rubens, you take care. German Airways as well, getting ready to leave. Yankee Sierra this time with a BA City flyer. Carrie T, how you doing? Loving the super, uh, the super close-up shots. Beautiful. Beautiful. Lucy Harris. I'm going to find that out. <clears throat> Ravens Rules Plains Point saying hello everyone. Sorry I came in late today. Um, a notification that one. Please tell the uh, plane hugger again. Oh, Jeffrey from West Virginia. <laughs> We've got a couple of seconds. Yeah, that London had a, a certain amount of uh, climate protest that went on a few years ago. And there was a gentleman, unfortunately, that booked a flight here and he, uh, he got on top of one of British Airways' uh, E-190s. Um, he was subsequently arrested, but obviously uh, it took the aircraft out of, uh, out of play because he super glued his, uh, his body or his hand to uh, the fuselage of an aircraft. So, uh, yeah, subsequently arrested and I think charged with uh, the criminal damage bill. Webo, how you doing? And Diane, we are indeed. We're getting into the twilight zones. Coming up to a 14.14 minutes to 8 o'clock. And it's still a little bit light. And Alexia, no, not a cheap paint. As we said, everyone is... We want to save the planet, 100%. But there are ways to... There are ways to do it and there are ways not to do it. Uh, Jim Gamma, I think he was, yeah Jim. No, where about you lot of legends, mate? Uh, Steve Ruffwell, you take care. We'll see you again on the next one. Ah, uh, Leslie White. That would be the one.
Lauren Taylor, that's incredible. And guys, Lauren's just said that uh, we've just hit 38,000 subscribers here on, uh, on YouTube. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you all. Uh, I never ever expected to experience that growth. Much love, thank you all. Mohamed Mane, I, I, to be honest with you, I think I will, mate. You know, it, when you put it that way, there's a, you guys see there's a lot of work and a lot of effort that goes into, uh, into the channel. And it's, I'm humbled being where I am now. So I, I don't, yeah, I can't imagine what it's gonna be like at uh, 100K. I know, Tony Rivers, yeah, wow. Uh, Wayne, don't push it. We'll do it. We'll do it naturally. Uh, Kaz, right? Uh, SD will be spotter or spotter's dedicated TV. So SD TV, spotter dedicated TV. I think it's quite fitting. And Carrie T saying, Chris, it's been a privilege to be a member of your channel for six months. Thank you for all you do, and congrats for the 38k. Honestly, Carrie, I, as I said, I can't. I can't thank you enough and, and thank you so much for the for the kind words. It means a lot. And to Arizona, thank you for the kind words. Honestly guys. Absolutely brilliant. Right, so the special livery. And this one holds a uh, a nice place in my heart, guys. I've flown this aircraft many, many times. My oh, Friedman, thank you, mate. <laughs> Yes, that's the one. Joshua Leclerc, thank you very much. And uh, Richard Voswick, thank you. Yeah, Nick Horsley, yeah, I, I, I was quite... Uh, I hope Darren gets it sorted because he's got a he's got something good going on there. I, I really do. I wish there was something more that I could do to help him. And Miranda, how are you doing? Hello to you. So we're going to be coming up to the the last bits of the show, guys. And what an incredible afternoon here it has been. Chris Green Street, 37,000 in just over a year. Wow. Should we say on my last aircraft stand 21, good night, or oh, I'm off to the pub. Hang on, where is that? Uh, stand 21, that's you over there on one of them, isn't it? Or well, Sharice, listen, enjoy it. Go and enjoy the pub. I oh, know F F1 Dave. I, I can assure you that now, and I, I've said that for. We're still relatively new to YouTube, but the channel as a whole has been going a lot longer than that. I've said this to everyone that's joined us. No matter where we are, how big it gets, the channel it will never change from the the values that we put in place now. It will never change. The, it, it will be the same as what it always is. This is a place where. People can come and watch the aircraft, escape, talk about whatever you want, and we don't charge you anything to, to do it. You know, if you want to donate, great. If you don't, please just sit back and enjoy the uh, the family and watch the aviation. So nothing will ever change, I can assure you that. 
So I'm a far, no worries, an airport with John, or aircraft spotted John, saying a very really happy I found your great work. Thank you very much. Yeah, Mohammed, it is. Yeah, but don't worry, guys. Nothing will, nothing will ever change. It's this is for this community, and this is for spreading positivity about aviation. So that's that's where the only thing we ever ask you for is is a like button to just sort of help us keep spreading our uh, positive message. Jamie Chu, hey man, uh, it's my first time here, glad to be here. Well, thank you very much, Jamie. Welcome along. Hope you uh, join us again on some other times. Yeah, Ravens, uh, Ravens Rolls, fantastic, mate. F1 Dave, yeah, that, as I said, it has never changed in years and it will never change in the coming years. Okay, just there you go. That's what you want. Nick Horsley, I. I am humble because I, I know what it's like. I'm, I'm able to live a dream at, at this precise moment and spend hours with all of you lovely lot throughout my week. And it's just, to be able to do that, there's no need for arrogance or anything like that. This is a once in a lifetime journey and opportunity, you know? That's, that's how it is. John Trevor, thank you. Keith and Sonia explore Alexandra Woods, honestly. And Mark Freeman, yeah, that's... I'm glad it is as well. And Oliver Dot's brilliant. Uh, Max, well, we're coming down to the, uh, the last sort of aircraft of the show now. We've had all of our Swisses in. Um, it's coming up to 8 o'clock and it is starting to get dark now. Obviously, once it does come into the summertime or a couple of months later everything will be uh, everything will be even further on and we'll roll until probably the last arrival and departure but as you can see it is getting uh, it is getting dark now Tom Sykes media uh, Tom I've got this uh, reason why I've got this on auto at the second um, I didn't want to play about with this it, as I said this is only a uh, at the moment, this is a backup camera. I'm still waiting for my main camera to be repaired from Sony, so all of that will be on there. So at the moment, I'm just sort of uh, grafting through with what I've got at the second. I appreciate it, mate. Uh, Indian Tina Moral saying hello from Ireland. Love your videos. Well, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. All right, we have. The Luxair as well starting guys, so I think we'll do the Luxair Dash 8 as the last aircraft. Definitely something about a uh, a British Airways aircraft in the evening, all lit up, looking beautiful. I mean, look at that. If it ever wants to focus, just the colours. Shimon Perez, wonderful job. Thank you to you, mate. Honestly, really appreciate it. And Lynn, you take care. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, Alexia. As I said, we'll, we'll never change. Look at the towel lit up there, it's just... <laughs> Diane, we're glad we found you too. Thank you for the kind words. And Dom C. Lom Santa Walter Camera Pesquire. Thank you very much, Dom. Honestly, I appreciate that. And happy Friday. 
Yeah, Mahoney, no worries, and Freddie O. Yeah, this is for videography. This is the best, one of the best times. Like low, low light. Honestly, though, Dom, thank you for that. So we're going to do the Lux here as the last one. British Airways City Flyer holding on the runway just at the moment before its departure. And Martin Batchelor saying good evening to you all from uh, Martin in Basingstoke. <laughs> Mohammed, it might be on the, uh, I think it's like the frame rate sometimes. Uh, Jamie Chu will be live again tomorrow from uh, Heathrow. So we'll be live about half past seven uh, in the morning. And ben York, how you doing from Atlanta? Hello to you. Hey Atlaris, morning peeps, hello to you. Nothing inbound at the second. And the Luxair is now on taxi. And Brian Ski, thank you so much. Honestly, thank you. You are a legend, sir. You all are. Very much. Can say we'll see you at Heathrow. We will indeed. So the last one of the show, guys, will be the Luxair, the Dash 8. Honestly, Bryanski, thank you very much. Uh, Keith and Sonia Explore. Uh, as you said before, it's not it's not exactly a membership. We we don't. It's more of a donation if you want to sort of make it. Um, on there, it doesn't in include or entail anything sort of special. We don't do members only shows or things like that. It, it's just if, if you like what we do, you know. But uh, I think there's a thing that says join on the uh, or next to the uh, subscribe on the PC. Um, but uh, yeah, it's only if you can afford it though, and if you uh, if you like what we do. Louis de Han, thank you very much, mate. Nick Keo, glad you enjoyed, mate. Everything's, uh, everything's running fine here. Everything's running good. And Messenger Mike. Honestly, you guys have been uh, incredible this evening. All oh, right, we do have one last aircraft. So do you know what? Why not? We have the KLM coming in. As you can see though, they're absolutely looking stunning over the back. And Paul Donnelly, no, thank you. Honestly, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Hogwood 67, our pleasure. Scott Farrell, that's beautiful, isn't it? Charlie Yankee, contact 10 direct to 133 455. Good morning. CP 455, So we'll do this one, the last aircraft of the show. One more, one more, always the way. KLM very busy.
absolutely brilliant. Friday night rush hour at London City, completed it. Oh, Alexandra Woods, it does, doesn't it? Right then guys, so that will be the last one from us. An incredible three hours and 36 minutes of uh, peak rush. Been absolutely amazing. A few of you have asked as well, what was that over there in the, uh, in the back? So once again, the Tate and Lyle. They do the sugar, but that is the, probably the one that you will know worldwide. And that, is, uh, that is the building there. If we uh, bring that around. JJ, thank you very much. And once again, we leave you with that beautiful, beautiful view of Canary Wharf over there in the background. Right. So what do I say guys? Thank you very much. Thank you to the mods. Honestly, you've been absolutely brilliant. Thank you to the lovely, wonderful folks over there at London City Airport that enjoyed and that tuned in um, to the show. It's an absolute, uh, it's absolutely humbling uh, seeing you tune in week in week out thank you very much guys thank you to everyone that's hit the like button thank you to all of our new subscribers and thank you to everyone that's obviously donated guys so we don't go out of our way looking for that but when you do from the bottom of my heart thank you very much it helps us in so many more ways than you can ever uh, imagine thank you to you lovely lot over there on facebook i hope you're uh, you're having a great one and enjoying all of the uh, the content that's over there and obviously Thank you to all yourselves, guys, for uh, the absolute humbling support. We can't do it without you. So uh, brilliant. Give, your pat, uh, give yourselves a pat um, on the back there. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. We will be back once again tomorrow from about half past seven, between half past seven and eight o'clock uh, for our standard Heathrow show, the way to end the week. Uh, but yeah, until that, guys, I wish you all the very best Friday, wherever you are in the world. And I hope you all keep very, very safe. So from me here on the dock side of the Royal Albert Dock and from these wonderful, wonderful views of London, I hope you all have the very, very best evening. From the bottom of my heart, thank you very much, guys. We will see you all again very, very soon. Take care. Enjoy.